Another April, another Ludum Dare game jam. This time the theme was summoning. My submission is called Aliens vs Undead, and you can play it now by checking out the description below. It's a game where you summon skeletons and punch them to launch them at enemies. I opted to participate in the compo for this jam, which is a variant of the jam where developers need to make all of their game's assets from scratch within 48 hours. The jam started on Friday, April 12th at 9pm with the summoning theme reveal. I had already spent some time brainstorming ideas prior to the announcement, but I spent the first hour or so of the jam doing some final brainstorming with this theme. You summon a skeleton? Or like there's skulls on the ground, right? You pick up as many skulls as you want to summon a skeleton, but then instead of like the skeleton attacking, you pick up the skeleton and like smack somebody with it. Oh. Ultimately, I settled on a variant of an idea that I had previously brainstormed. This idea was a tavern brawl style game where you have to use furniture to attack your enemies. The idea was to make the game super hectic by making furniture explode on hit and by requiring the player to constantly move and dive to smash more furniture and avoid enemy attacks. Instead of furniture, I wanted to make summonable skeletons that the player could smash into enemies in order to make the idea fit the theme. I got started on this idea as I usually do, by doing some rough mockups in A Sprite with a color palette from low spec. I found a color palette that I really liked, and the art I threw together quickly turned out pretty well. As you can see, I was angling for more of an arcade style game, so I used a stark black background and a limited color palette of vibrant colors. Here's me at 10.39pm shortly after the beginning of the jam. And so the way that I'm currently envisioning that this will work is that there will be these skulls that are in the level. You will pick up the skull, and then you can use the skull to summon a skeleton at your position. Thinking about being able to pick up the skeleton and smack enemies with it, or drop kick the skeleton to launch it at enemies. This video is sponsored by me. If you want to learn how to make a complete game in Godot 4, check out my Udemy course. The link for that is in the description below. I got to work early on Saturday morning. I hadn't yet done anything functional with the game, so the first goal of the day was to get basic player controls in place. I also worked on a skull pickup system, which was intended to allow the player to store skulls for later use. These skulls were originally designed to enable the player to control the spawn location of skeletons. I needed an enemy for the player to attack, so I started sketching the first thing that came to my mind, which was aliens. This was kind of goofy and I didn't think I'd use the enemy at first, but the more I did the art, the more I liked the idea. Aliens and necromancers aren't a typical combo, so at the very least I'd get points for uniqueness. Plus, necromancers versus aliens feels very much like an arcade game, which is the feel that I was going for. The final basic piece I needed was an arena in which the player could play the game. I made this incredibly simple, just four walls bounding the play area. With all of those pieces in place, I started streaming on YouTube. The goal of the stream was to get basic combat mechanics working. Over the course of the stream, I implemented the ability for the player to summon skeletons and then punch them to launch them into enemies. When skeletons collided with walls or enemies, I made them drop their skulls which could then be picked up again by the player to summon more skeletons. I also gave the aliens a bullet attack for the player to dodge. Here's my recap of the work I had done by 1.30pm on Saturday. I've got basic movement set up, I can pick up the skulls. If I right click, I can place down a skeleton and if I left click, I can shoot him at enemies. When the skeleton collides with an enemy or with a wall, he will become a skull again. Right now, the focus is just gonna be on polishing up the game mechanics a little bit and then playing with it some more, trying to get it into a state where it's really fun. Having only a handful of enemies to destroy isn't much fun for the player, so I added an enemy spawn mechanic that created more enemies over time. Next, I spent some time refining some of the mechanics. Instead of allowing the player to collect and store skulls, I simply made a collision with the skull, summon the skeleton at the location of the skull. This simplified the game loop quite a bit, but also made it more challenging because it removed some control from the player. I had originally planned to make different skeleton types summonable based on the number of held skulls, but toward late afternoon on Saturday, I realized I wouldn't have time to implement this feature. 
So removing the skull storage mechanism made sense in every way. By this point, I was feeling pretty good about the game's foundations, so I took some time to add polish, elements like animations and particles. I think adding visuals like this early on is a great motivational boost and helps me more clearly see the fun of the game. I hopped on a quick check-in and playtesting session with my friend Ava, who also submitted a game for the compo. Check out his game as well, the link is in the description. Yeah, what do you think, would this be fun? if I just add a couple more features here, you think? Yeah, I think so. It definitely seems, I can, I can definitely see the challenge. It was around 7 p.m. on Saturday by this point with about 26 hours left in the jam. I still had a ton of work to do from music and sound effects to general polish to more gameplay mechanics. I started first on the player animations. I cut the player sprite into pieces and made a basic running animation. Then I added particles for the skeleton push effect. To make the gameplay more interesting, I added a new type of enemy which requires two hits in quick succession to destroy. This enemy took the form of a heavily armored variant of the standard alien enemy. After making that enemy, I was feeling the creativity, so I went on a small detour and drew up a mine. I had no idea if I'd have time to add this to the game, but I made the art anyway in case I could add it later. Here's me talking about my progress at around 9.45 p.m. on Saturday. I am now just over 24 hours into the jam, and I figured I'll just go give a rundown of what's going on here. So I've got these aliens spawning, they're animated and everything. I can run over a skull here to summon a skeleton which I changed from being a pickup so now I just run over the skeletons and then I can push them into the enemies. First up on the to-do list for Sunday morning was finishing the animations needed for the skeletons and the heavy alien. Once those animations were in place, it was time to finish designing the levels. In order to properly support multiple enemy types, I had to rewrite my spawning system to give me more control over the difficulty scaling. When that was finished, designing a level was simply a matter of tweaking some numbers and playtesting. I thought it would be interesting to add a hint of backstory as an introduction to the game, so I created these banners that slide in and display text. I inserted a few of these banners at the very beginning of the game. I also used these banners to indicate to the player when aliens were incoming and when the aliens had been defeated. There were still a few things to do at this point, namely sound effects and music, but I also had an idea for a combo counter to give the player a little extra incentive to play as efficiently as possible, so I added that. I also liked the combo counter for another reason. It made the game feel more like an arcade game. I hopped into JSFXer and clicked the random button a bunch of times until I had appropriate sound effects matching the various game events. I implemented those into the game without many issues. Finally, there was the music. This was definitely trickier to do than sound effects, but once I found the beatbox instrument that sounded like an alien invasion, my job became much easier. Here's a bit of how that music turned out. At this point, it was around 3.30 p.m. on Sunday, with five and a half hours left in the jam. I was feeling pretty exhausted at this point, but I had a few things to finish up. I added a game complete screen, a basic text-based tutorial, and an arrow indicator showing the launch direction of the skeletons. Given that I had a few hours left, I decided to add the mine that I referenced earlier. It spawns in like any other enemy, but is interesting in that it can be blown up by skeletons. The explosion will kill enemies within a certain radius, even the armored ones, but it will also kill the player. I was happy I got to implement this because it ended up making the game a lot more interesting. After a final round of playtesting and balance tweaks, the game entitled Aliens vs. Undead was complete. Here's a mini retrospective from just after I submitted the game. So yeah, all in all, this was a very fun jam. Uh, it wasn't the best idea I've ever had. But I still think that it turned out nice. I think the art turned out pretty decent. I like all of the effects and everything. Yeah, I can't really complain. You can play the game by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. You can wishlist Gunforged on Steam. And if you want to learn how to build a 2D survivor style game in Godot 4, you could check out my Udemy course. To stay up to date with my content, you can sign up for my newsletter at firebelly.com. Links for all of that are in the description below.